Have you wondered how this smoke effect is actually done? Today we're going to find out in After Effects. In one of my previous tutorials, we actually had someone request how to do this actual smoke effect. So cheers to you in the comments. Um, I'm always looking at them, so if you, if you want to learn something or know something, feel free to just leave it, uh, yeah, like I said in the comments, and we'll try and make it happen for you. But today, this is how it's done. So starting out in the software, we actually need to drag our footage into a composition. So from here, we actually need to cut the clip out to how much we actually want. So we probably want only about three seconds of this. So cut the end out, just drag it out. So I'm pretty happy with this, and this is what we're gonna use. So from here, we wanna click our footage and duplicate it. So press Command D or Control D, I believe it is for PC. So now that we have two clips, we wanna to go to the top one, come up to this square tool, hold our clicker in, and then go to Eclipse tool. And then from here, we actually need to create a circle around the rim because that's what we're going to be using for the effect. So hold down and drag. So this creates a kind of circle. If you need a perfect circle, hold down shift as well. And it creates a perfect circle. But for this, it's kind of oval shaped, so it doesn't really matter. So now that we have the shape, we kind of need to zoom in a bit so we can get a better track around the rim. So I'll zoom in to about 200%. And then from here, press V, uh, just to go back to your center tool, and then hold shift and then click one of the anchor points. And then this will bring up all the adjustments so you can actually create a smoother tracing around your rim. adjustments, making it all look nice. So I'm pretty happy how it's looking and how it's kind of tracked around the rim. From here, we need to right click our mask and press track mask. Once you press track mask, it should come up with a tracker on the right hand side. Make sure method is clicked on position, scale, rotation, and skew. Um, if you have it on face tracker um, and tracking and things like that, it won't work. It kind of ends up screwing your perfect circle up. So position, scale, rotation, and skew, click that. And then we want After Effects to kind of track the rim automatically. You can do it manually and do it frame by frame, but it's really slow and it kind of drags out the, the process and kind of slows down your editing time. So to speed it up, you can get After Effects to track it manually. So click this little play button here and it should automatically track it. So now it should be going through all the footage. Oops, sorry, I paused it. Keep it tracking. So it's going through all the footage right now, just tracking the outline of the rim. So I'm pretty happy with that tracking. It's slightly off, but it shouldn't matter too much. Okay, now we're just gonna zoom out. So once the tracking is done, we now need to go into our effects and use a plugin called Saber. So this plugin is free. You can just download it online. Um, I'll, I'll chuck it in the descriptions for you so it makes it a bit easier. But uh, yeah, so go into effects. Drag Saber onto your top footage and it should come up with this. So from here, we want to go to Custom Core, click Saber, and go to Layer Mask. And now we've got a rough track going around. So from here, we need to go down to Render Settings, Composite Settings, click Black, and then change to Transparent. So now, we have a laser going around the rim. But we want to change this to smoke. So from here, you actually have multiple options. So you can do a laser, you can do fire, you can do anything. You can kind of, there's all these options here. Portal, all these types. But for now, we actually want to use the soft smoke. 
and then change the color just here to gray. So there's a lot of customization you can actually do in this. You can change it to any color you want, but for now we're actually just doing a kind of hazy gray smoke. So from here you actually want to go on to custom core. So this is where you can actually do adjustments on how big you want the smoke to be, how small you want it to be, um, how much of a trail you want left behind, but you can apply with all these adjustments here. So it's kind of up to your preference on how you like it. But for me, I like to grab the start offset and just, I think this is enough. Start size, drag it down a bit. End size, let's blow it up a bit. So that looks kind of good. I'm kind of happy with that. So now that we have smoke, it, it's, it's not going to move. It's just going to go on that one spot. Now we need it to rotate around the tire. So to do this, we need to set a keyframe or a stopwatch at the start of your clip. So at the start here, drag your thing to the start, the timeline, and then click a stopwatch. And then go to the end of your clip. And then at mask evolution, drag this around as many times as you want. It can be once, it can be twice, it can be however fast you actually want your smoke to be. And then when you drag it back to the start, it should loop around, it's just gonna load. I'll take it off full, I'll put it on third. But it loops around your rim. So that's how you create this smoke effect. And like I said, you can change any of the effects, you can change the color to be orange, you can change it to blue, whatever color you feel. You can change from smoke to core, it can be whatever you want. And it just loops around your rim. So there you go, that's exactly how I do have my smoke effect through After Effects and using the Sabre tool. It's a super useful tool, um, I'd highly recommend downloading it because you can use it with all your other edits as well. It doesn't need to just be a rim, it could be anything. It could be the front bar, it could be the windows. You can track kind of anything using the Sabre tool. But hopefully this helped you out. Uh, leave a comment in the descriptions uh, saying what effects you kind of want to learn next and I'll create a tutorial on them. Till next one, let's go.